What's up guys, this is Alex again with Squeaky's Reef. Today I'm going to be doing what I believe is my third live aquaria unboxing of the Disbar Antheas. I know at this point the uh, live aquaria unboxings are probably getting a little bit redundant, but I just want to keep a log of every single time I reach out and purchase something, and then in the end I'll be able to look back and find out if they really, you know, hit the home run on this one and got every single order right. And so far it's looking like they might. So originally I wanted some liar tail antheas, but they actually sold out of those the night before I was ready to make my purchase. And then when I went and logged on, they had these disbar antheas on sale. So I figured out, you know what, they're reasonably pretty. I'll get a trio of those and hopefully it'll work the same. So I got three of the disbar antheas, and then I got a couple extra cleanup crew members. I got some more small hermit crabs because all the ones I had had grown up and couldn't fit into the tight cracks and crevices in the rocks anymore and I got another cleaner shrimp, and I got a peppermint shrimp. And I'll just go ahead and kill the suspense now and tell you that everything came perfectly. All the disbar antheas were in bags that had a really large water volume compared to other fish that I've ordered online, which is good. It's probably a result of the antheas being a little bit more sensitive. They were listed as expert only, but I didn't get into this hobby to not challenge myself, so I figured I'd give a whack at it. And all the inverts were packaged, everybody was right, heating pack was still warm, and as with every single time I've purchased from them so far, I was really happy with the shipment. Now, the acclimation process that I've had the most success with now over, you know, these couple months where I've been ordering livestock is to drip acclimate all of my inverts, but all of my fish, I've just been matching the salinity in my quarantine tank to match the incoming salinity that they're in in the bags, and then I just drop them straight in there because I'm worried about the ammonia and the pH in the water after I open the bag and expose it to the air. So that's what I did. I did my drip acclimation a little bit differently this time. I decided to put all of the inverts in this little pitcher I have, and then I just sunk the pitcher into my sump and I dripped from my display tank down to my sump so that the temperature of the water I was dripping into would remain consistent and I wouldn't have like a big temperature drop in the water like I would if I was sitting the pitcher on the table. And it worked, it worked perfectly. Not a single one of the inverts died, which also probably means that the last time the inverts died, it was my fault and Live Aquaria just refunded me anyway, which is awesome. The antheas were really shy. They were the most timid fish that I've dealt with yet. I think it was maybe three days before I even saw any of them. They all ran behind my filter and just hid back there. But after a while, I've been trying to train them to come out when the light is on because they know food's coming, and they've been coming out a little more. I did lose one of them. I think it was day 11 or 12 of quarantine. It was the day after I started the Prazi Pro treatment. I've never heard of fish being sensitive to that, but it could have just been stressed out. It could have been any number of things but that's not on Live Aquaria. I still have these two left, and uh, I'm just gonna try and bring them through and maybe add another one at a later date if I still feel like it. It's also important to note that antheas are sensitive to the ionic copper I was using, so I'm not gonna be treating these guys with copper. I'm just gonna be watching them for 30 days, and unless I see signs of ick or marine velvet, I'm just gonna treat them for parasites and leave that be. But um, I'll see y'all next time on the Ugly Stage videos, and thank you for watching.